Mean. 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 <coughs> you have five data points. You are calculating average out of the five. Since there are twenty subgroup, you will be able to calculate twenty sample average. All the sample average are always seen inside the control. <coughs> All the sample average are always seen inside the control limit. That means shift number one, shift number two, shift number three. On all the shift, your quality is consistently same. Can you see that all of you? Earlier we checked the quality within the shift. Now we are checking the quality between the shift. Can you see that all of you? Suppose, suppose. Uh, twelfth shift point. Twelfth shift point. Can you see twelfth shift point is you know uh, far away from the center? Correct. Yeah. yeah. If it goes out of the control limit on on twelfth day, if the point goes out of the control limit, what do you understand? The quality of the products you produced on twelfth day is 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 you know is abnormally different abnormal. from your normal quality. Out of the control limit. Yeah. Out like on 12th day, dispatch permission will not be given for 12th day units. 12th day, you are not supposed to dispatch your product. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. Because normally your quality will stay within control limit. But on 12th day, it has gone wrong. Why? Whole day the machine setting was wrong. Nobody noticed it whole the day. Throughout the shift, the machine setting was in a wrong setting only. That's the reason why. The average itself is getting shifted. Can you see that, all of you? Only yes, at, sir. Only if the problem is only at twelve o'clock, range will be in trouble. <laughs> if the problem is throughout the shift, your average will be in trouble. Am I correct? Yeah. Correct. So the quality within the shift we are monitoring in the range chart. The quality between the shift we are monitoring through the average chart. For a good business, quality within the shift. As well as quality between the shift, both should be under control. Am I correct? Yeah. That's the purpose of control chart. Have you understood? Yes. Yes. Sir. Any questions? Sir, no, could no, you, no. sir, could you please repeat uh, that within the shift and between the shift? Within the shift. Uh, and between, between the, the shift. shift. Okay. Let let us change the product now because I can see I used the product and I talked about diameter and you know diameter was difficult to digest for all of you. Let yes. us change a simple product, chocolate. All of you like chocolate? Yes. Right. Now let us say you are producing chocolates, and uh, every day at the end of uh, no every day whatever units produced you are dispatching on a daily basis. Do you understand how your business is operating? Yes. Every day, whatever chocolate you produce, same day you are dispatching to the market. First day, chocolates are dispatched to Chennai. Second day, chocolates are dispatched to Bangalore. Third day, it goes to Delhi. Fourth day, it goes to Mumbai, and the cycle repeats. Different cities gets chocolates from your factory. Now, what is the expectation? Customer expectation. People across all the cities should have the same experience with your chocolate. Am I correct? Same taste. Yes, yes. Whatever taste you are giving to Delhi, same taste you should give it to Bangalore. Whatever taste you are giving to Bangalore, same taste you are giving to Chennai yes. also, Delhi also, Mumbai also, Bangalore also. Like the gems chocolate yesterday, all of you said, you know, taste is super. I have yes. seen zero defects under the taste column. That is simply because X bar chart was under control. Right, the variation between the batch is under control. That's why people are experiencing same taste. Do you understand? If the average is out of control on a particular day, and that batch is you know sent to Bangalore, all the people in the Bangalore will experience will have a bad experience with your chocolate. That's why I said don't dispatch. You remember? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Suppose imagine. Complaints are coming only from Chennai, not from other cities. Tell me what should be the problem. Complaints are coming only in Chennai. 
how do you predict complaints are coming only from a batch within a particular batch the batch is you know within chennai there are complaint so that the particular batch alone is an issue which is ah, very abnormal that particular day if you look at your range chart range would have been out of control somebody did not notice that they dispatched it to chennai within chennai people will have different different experience some part of the chennai will get good chocolate but some part of the chennai might get bad chocolates from those areas you will start getting complaints this is simply because your range was out of control so when range is out of control within batch variation is too high something went wrong within a batch that was not noticed definitely your business will suffer that is why our chart when it is out of control you should immediately stop the process you should set it right if our chart is under control you should also try to gain control over average so that the experience remains same from batch to batch is it clear so still uh, puja this side i have a doubt uh, it just help me like uh, chocolate taste should be similar it is yes. the, one of the parameters so how is it like chennai chennai is tasting something else rather than mumbai and delhi sorry mumbai and uh, uh, bangalore city okay let's say the jaggery level added on a particular day went to too high okay then what will happen to the taste Hmm. They would be then elevation in the sweetness. Yeah. Uh, okay. See, uh, we all uh, love potato chips, right? The Lay's yeah. potato chips. Are you getting consistent taste in all the cities? Yes. How are they ensuring they are producing crores and crores of packets, and none of the packets, you know, gives a different taste? How they are able to maintain that? Are they checking each and every potato wafer before packing? no then how are they still maintaining they have just a random sampling they have statistical process control yeah. over their process okay. you know what are they checking what will they check to ensure the taste of the potato chips Pra parameter of the ingredients so what is the parameter so good what is the parameter good packing so good packing salt uh, is it taste. good packing responsible for the taste no, in process no, no, in process all. parameters manufacturing i said like process mix of in process in process parameters ha what is that, that? what is that thickness process. of the potato wafer is it important for the crispiness yes salt level yes yes right yes. so the salt yes. and spices ingredients spices yes uh, spices yes they can have a good control but uh, what can go wrong is you know maybe the thickness can go wrong mm -hmm. and the thickness can slightly vary sometimes the salt added the, sp in the spice itself salt is the major uh, influencer yeah baking time yes isn't it even a small uh, excessive salt can spoil the taste exactly uh, so salt is con salt content is considered you know the ctq thickness is considered the ctq every time the potato are fried i mean the potato chips are fried they will collect a sample yeah. they will yeah. measure two parameter one is thickness another one is salt content if both are under control whomsoever receiving the potato chips will have a beautiful experience right so i'm still not not convinced that you know whether all of you have understood the subject or not so i'm not going to send you for the lunch <laughs> all right so we will just watch this uh... sir space space is done every day during the process yeah every day yes during the production okay, so know. when they are analyzing a certain parameter so when there is a deviation in the parameter mm -hmm. so they can uh, do correction for that no sir way to go for again for the statistical analysis come again come again even they analyze a dev and they see a deviation what are they supposed to do for example salt content they are analyze the salt content in the product hmm. okay so they can have a correction at that time or in the, the next batch see please understand see the control chart is giving you signal something wrong right something wrong yeah. you are salt content has suddenly gone high so definitely yes uh, you need to stop the process you need to check how salt content can go wrong how salt content can be abnormally high whether it is abnormally high or abnormally low you need to figure out and if it is if it is you know uh, crystal clear 
Here you make changes and then continue the process. You're right. But then uh, you should not you know, uh, take actions on assumptions. Mm. First thing to note is you should stop the process. Nobody will be stopping the process, in my opinion. Because the typical mindset is, you know, hey, just one point has gone out. What is big behind it? Isn't it? One point going out, you know, it's not. Generally, we think, you know, it is, it is unacceptable. One out of 20 points is, suppose you don't answer one question, you know, correctly out of the 20 questions. You will not, you know, worry uh, big about it. Same manner, one point out of 20 when it is going out of control. Generally, people tendency is to ignore. But the point is we should not ignore. Because it is not just a point, it is an average. It is not just a point, it is a range. It is a statistics. Statistics is calculated from a sample. Sample actually represents a population. What is the population behind your sample? All the chips you produced in the particular shift. How many packets you produced? Several lakhs of product package. All several lakhs of package will be under trouble. Can you understand that? Mm. Can you understand that? If you don't take action, then whatever you are going to produce in the subsequent batches will also be in trouble. That can lead to, you know, crores and crores of cost of poor quality. You must, first of all, stop the process. You should not stop the, you should not dispatch the particular lot. You should even stop the dispatch of the lot. Do 100% inspection with the lot. Then only you can dispatch. But I don't think in the case of potato wafers, if something has gone wrong, you can't do any 100% inspection. Waste is waste, isn't it? So you will, you will learn much more about the control chart in the upcoming days. What I will also do is, I will also give you a data and expect all of you to plot a control chart by, by, you know, by hand method. Then you understand how each and every element is you know, working in the control chart. How the range is calculated, how the average is calculated, how control chart is plotted. Hmm. You know, you are, you are asked to bring a graph sheet also. Yes, sir. Just pull out that graph sheet and I will be posting an assignment in the group. All of you, please try to plot a control chart. I will give step-by-step -step method. How to calculate range, how to calculate average. You please do it by hand and then see a control chart. Try to understand the abnormality and the real problem behind the abnormality. But can we use the Minitab, sir? You can use Minitab, but uh, the assignment initially, you know, you need to uh, understand the calculations behind. Right? Okay. So okay. just now I plotted the control chart, right, in Minitab. So that's a one-minute task. But uh, how the Minitab is working, and uh, if you do it manually, you will know. I'll make the job easier for you. Maybe you can use Excel in between for the calculation. But drawing the graph, you have to plot point by point. Then you get more insight. We will again be talking about control chart in the control phase, right? But it's a very, very important QC tool. So I would, I should stop here because 